you have any of these kind of accents in, in this music? What kind of accent is this called? Do you know the official word, the Italian word for this kind of accent? Marcato. Very good. You get the gold star for the day. All right. How is a marcato accent different from a regular accent? Or maybe I should ask this. Is it different? Should it be any different? Um, it's slightly detached. So you're saying that these accents are perhaps more separated than these accents. Yeah. Do you all agree with that? Yeah. I do too. I like that a lot. Gold star. Mm -hmm. um, what else is different about a marcato accent? Are any of you studying Italian? What does... Um, the, the, the Italian word marcato, can you imagine what that might mean? <laughs> Hammered? When you mark leather, you know, you're marking leather or you're, you're, you're making um, incisions in, in, the, uh, in the texture, they call it hammering. And so this is a hammered articulation, marcato articulation. It's probably the most aggressive of the articulations that you'll find in most music. So we talked before about the front end of the note being a um, rather hard tongue, lots of air behind it. Yes, I agree, but perhaps it's a little bit louder. And there's more detach. Etc. Etc. Now if we did four of each of these. Let's see if you can do that. Let's hear a difference. If I point to this, will you play on, um, oh, let's use our chord. Um, fa, la, do. We'll take four of these, four of these, four of these, four of these. Okay, here we are. Big full sound. March quartet, okay? Here we are. Red D and <laughs> This is the difference between this kind of accent and this kind of accent. 
And if you take a look in your music, when this accent is, is needed, you can see it's a very aggressive pickup notes or very aggressive uh, punctuation areas, as opposed to right here, which is kind of the, the stylistic British accent. And then we've got the lightest, the lightest as we go here. Uh, can we just rehearse this accent just a little bit more? I think that you guys need a little bit more weight. If I say guys, will you guys get mad at me? Okay, good. Um, so I'm just using it as a generalization. So in this case, B, 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 B. Can you put more air behind the tongue, but there's still separation? Here we go. Let's work on this accent. We'll just take four of them. Maybe this fast now. One and two and ready and. Good. That's a real good sound. Can we do it with a nice blend? This uh, a um, uh, pyramid blend. Here we go. Ready and. Good. Now, can you do this one? Now this one is slightly harder tongue, slightly shorter. Good. Can you describe the difference here in terms of your air? What do you do differently? Can you feel this a difference of what you're doing with your air here? Yeah, it's it, isn't it? Um, there's a sense of. Oh, oh. Oh, that way, as opposed to here, it's it's more of a percussive tongue. Okay, so we're going to take this march once again. And folks, the rhythm was in place. The uh, dynamics were pretty much in place. You kept a steady beat like every march. But when I listened to the articulations, you kind of sold it short. Can you imagine this articulation then? I think in the first measure, several people have that. Isn't that true? A staccato marcato? So he's really asking for a rather detached note, isn't he? From the top, please. Think air, think uh, the aggression of the tongue, what you need to do. That's good, but it can be better. Ta, 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 ta. If you can make what you did right there weigh another 300 kilos, okay? Here we go. Ready? And. Can you match this volume that the whole band is giving? You have to match. No pressure. Okay. Guys, what a difference in this band. Do you like that? What did it take? It took someone from 10,000 miles away to say, no, you got this all. You got this all on you. you, know, it, you it came from you. Now, let's do it again. Now we expect it every time, right? That's the trouble. Here we go. This kind of effort. Ready, and. Oh, you 
guys are missing out on one of the great delights of life. <laughs> These are so good. Chicago style pizza? It's thicker than thick. Yeah, it takes about 45 minutes and it's cheesy. Yeah. Tomatoes and sausage. It's so good. <laughs> All right, here we are. Can you give us that much energy yet? And then.